Let's go through the concept of the marketing funnel. Now that we understand the journey a potential customer goes through, we can use the metaphor of a funnel to track and analyze each step in the journey with data. Impressions and reach capture the person seeing the ad. Lead generation is visiting the website. And buying something is conversion to a paid customer. So at the top, we're trying to build awareness and get our name in front of the potential customer. To do this, we use ad platforms and search engine optimization, or SEO. With SEO, we can make sure our ad shows up for the right mix of search terms as people are searching for things online. For example, search terms like grocery delivery or grocery shopping would be a good search term when we carted ad shows up for the person. The metrics we can measure here are the number of people who saw the ad. Some of those people will click the ad and be taken to our website. To be counted at this level, the user should have clicked through the ad or the email sent to them. The metrics we use here are called click-through rate and cost per click. At this third level, the user is being counted because they have visited the company website. But just because someone landed on your web page, that does not mean the person is interested in spending money on buying a product from your website. Most sites try to capture some other piece of information about you to determine if you're indeed interested. The most common is your email. With your email, they will then have the ability to send you marketing emails to try and convert you into a paying customer. If you provide your email or any other piece of information about yourself, you have indicated interest in the business and the business will now think of you as a potential customer. They call this a lead. Other ways that businesses gauge your interest are if you download a document or create an account. Once visitors engage in any of these actions, the user is counted as a lead. At this level, marketing teams often want to know how much did it cost the business to get the viewers to get to this level. The metric we calculate is the cost per lead. The final step is when the customer actually makes a purchase and becomes a paid customer. In other words, the lead converted to a paid customer. Our ultimate goal is to maximize these conversions at the bottom of the funnel. In the following pages, we will address each of these specific metrics that capture the progress at each of these levels. We will go over how to calculate them and then you will practice. Now that you have an overview of this customer journey, calculating these metrics is not going to be hard.